Good morning students. Today we are going to start our third chapter. The chapter name is Introduction to MS Axis. In this chapter we have to discuss three listen objectives. They are get knowledge about database and DBMS, create knowledge about table, record and field, learn how to create database in MS Axis. So first we have to discuss what do you mean by file. File is a collection of data. Okay, file is collection of data. So that means school register, office records, mark list are examples of files. If you have data that can be typed, chance our MS axis will be great solution. For we have to store information. Okay, data means data are fact that can be recorded and implicit meaning data data means we have collect some information based on school register office record mark list examples so a uh, file file means it is a collection of data manually kept in shelves takes more space and time to search for information so the main disadvantages of Files are loss of data, lack of security and take more works to arrange these files. Now this day the files are stored in the format of computer. So computerized database more flexible, compact and faster. Okay, It reduces the probability of inconsistent data. So data means Data are collection of information. File means it is a collection of data. Database database means is a collection of informations and data characterized by specified specific fields. So which is a stored in tabular format across rows and columns. So DBMS DBMS means database management system is a computerized data management systems that help us to store and retrieve data in structured manner store and retrieve data in structured manner so uh, this is a table the table consists of specific field uh, based on the format rows and columns rows and columns and the field field means the field means column in a table is called field and rows in a table is called record okay column in a table is called field and rows in a table is called record and one is primary key primary meaning uniquely identify each record in a table so that is primary key primary key means uniquely identify each record in a table so that is primary key so in this table we have to identify each elements in this table is serial number okay si number it is a primary key it is unique identification of each members in in this table okay so these are the components of a table components of a table tables are field record and primary key field means the column in a table are known as field and record means the row in a table are known as record and primary key means it is a combination of field that uniquely identify each record in a table okay these are the components next one we have to discuss about what do you mean by database management system so it is a system softwares that create create modify and extract data from a database okay it is a system software it is a software program that enables you to store data store data and modify the data extract data from the database okay next one relational database management system rdbms is a based on related data stored and retrieved using databases in the form of data tables okay in the form of table we can retrieve some data using databases in the form of tables so that is called rdbms relational relational means com combination of and different tables okay we can access some data using databases using data bases next we have to discuss 
okay this is called rdbms rdbms dbms dbms what is the full form of dbms dbms means database management system and rdbms relational database management system what is the difference between uh, dbms and rdbms dbms it is a system softwares that uh, that to create modify update data from a database okay that is dbms and our relational relational database management system means it is based on relation between tables different tables okay the tables are connected so um, so retrieve data using databases in the form of tables that is relational database management system so ms axis it is a one of the application software application software means it is used to perform specific works for works for user so ms axis we have to we have to create tables create databases okay so ms axis is a one of the database management software available with ms office available with ms office available with ms so how to open ms access 2010 start menu all programs microsoft office microsoft access 2010 so this is the way to open ms access 2010 so ms access the data in ms access is stored in different tables okay different tables next we have to discuss database objects database object means table query forms report these are the database object table means tables are used to store data in the form of records and field okay records and field a table consists of records and each record is made up of number of field so that is table so data um, ms access we have to create databases using table format table means table is stored data in the form of rows and columns rows and columns so we have to discuss table okay it is one of the database objects next one query query means it is used to extract information from the database it is used to extract information from the database next one form form is a interface that lets the user view enter and change data in the table okay we can enter the data in the table and update the data in the table okay that is called form it is a user interface we can we can see we can see uh, this format then update the data or enter the data next one report report means it is used to display the information stored in a database for printing purpose okay it is used to display the information stored in a database for printing purpose okay that is report so table query forms and reports are the database objects next we have to discuss what do you mean by data types okay data type when creating a table we can creating table using ms access software so uh, it need to specify what kind of data is to stored in each field okay that is called data type we can enter same data so the data which types of data we can be entered in table so that is called data types for example name name it is a one of the field one of the field so name is text data type name is text data type and roll number roll number it is a number data type okay so specific column contain specific data types so data types means whenever we have to creating tables so one field containing one type of data okay so that is to specify what kind of data is to be stored in each field so ms access to provide six data types text 
number, currency, date and time, auto number, yes or no. These are the data types. Text data types means it allows to store alphanumeric letters into a field. Some examples name, address, age. Okay, text data type means to store alphanumeric letters. Data, data type, it is a combination of letters and numbers. For example, name, address, age, etc. Next one, number. Number data, data type is used to entering numeric data. Numeric data. Only we can store the number. For example, phone number, pin code, etc. Currency. Currency data type allows you to enter data related with currency. Okay, currency is related to currency. Date and time. Date and time data type is used to enter date and time. Auto number means it is a data type store integers that increment automatically when new record is added to the table. So that is auto number. Yes or no. Yes or no data type can store only yes or no values. So these are the six type of database data type available in MS Axis. All of you clear these topics. Thank you.